Good morning, it's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. Thanks so much for tuning in today, whether you are going to join me live here in a minute or catch the replay. I'm really excited about today's project. Um, I spent four days this past week stamping at the beach with a small group in Maine. It was really amazing. So one of the projects we did was we made a little book and we did Wink of Stella watercoloring with reinkers. And I don't think I've showed this before, or if I have, it's been a really long time. So um, here's the card I just designed this morning. And I am using the Flowers of Friendship uh, stamp set and the coordinating punch. So let me show you the stamp set. This is Flowers of Friendship. And this one's been around, I don't know, maybe a little over a year. It has the coordinating flowers and leaves punch. So you get the two flowers and the two leaves with the punch. And if you have the catalog, I'm in the 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. And these products are on page 73. So you might zoom actually right past this page. So here is the, and it tells you right on this page, it coordinates with the flowers and leaves punch, the stamp set. And then you have some pretty samples on this page. And this one right in the middle, oof, kind of spoke to me with the colors. And so I picked those colors. It's Coastal Cabana, Soft so Saffron, and Flirty Flamingo. I added a little bit of Mint Macron too for the leaves. So let's jump right in. I'm also using one of my favorite die sets, the Scallop Contours. So you get these great labels. Whoops, one just moved. Um, you get eight dies in the Scallop Contours dies. And let's just jump right in. I'm gonna point the camera down and then I'll show you the project that we made, just the front cover, because I don't really wanna give um, it totally away. I think I might do the little book that we made as a future live video during celebration. So I'm gonna point the camera down at my station. Okay, so there is a bunch of stamping in this project, but none of it is very hard. So I'm just gonna start with, I'm just gonna start with doing some of the stamping, I guess, to, um, yeah, to, to just jump right in. So let's just see, let's do the greeting first. I, what I did is I went ahead and I punched out, or I die cut, I'm sorry, there's a die cut and punching on this project. So I die cut all the pieces that we need. We're actually going to use one stamp set and it's going to be, oh my gosh, one ink color. It's going to be Memento. So for everything that's stamped, I'm going to use Memento. So I just have this little little card, big thanks greeting. You could do any greeting in your stash so that fits on this little label. And it's actually an optical illusion. And I think I say that every time I use this die because it's actually a lot bigger than you think it is with your words. So I'm going to put that to the side and let's do the large. I am using the large floral stamp and I'm just going to stamp on the scalloped die the large the, well it's probably the medium sized rectangle and I want to go to one side so I'm going to kind of go to the left side that looks great and then I have to stamp also a few of my flowers so in the punch, if you look at the punch, hey, good morning, Celine. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for a great week. Well, this is kind of a bad, I'm seeing my face in the punch, so sorry about that. So if you look at this punch, the larger flower is going kind of like a cross, and then the smaller flower is going like an X. So I want to think about that when I put my flowers onto my white cardstock. So I'm going to do two small ones first. So the small flowers are like an X, okay? And I'm just going to do those over to this side. And then I'm going to bring them into my punch upside down as I throw my punch on the table. 
I guess I'm feeling frisky today. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and happy Juneteenth. So much going on this weekend. The weather could be a little bit better where we are. Uh, I went to an outdoor festival yesterday and it was so cold we left before it ended. It was so cold and windy, like where they had, they had two music stages and we stayed for one friend's band, but then the second one we, we were like, we're out of here, it's too cold. And it wasn't that it was too cold, it was just so windy. Um, it was probably like maybe like 60, but it felt like 50 by the water. Okay, so this is going to be okay. Okay, so there are my little flowers. And now I want to do the big flower. Let me put these to the side. So the big flower goes kind of like a cross. So let's get my memento. And like a cross, okay? Okay, that's actually all the stamping. So I'm going to get the ink pad away and punch this out while I'm here. Hopefully I'm staying on screen. I haven't used this bundle or stamp set and coordinating punch in a while. And I was looking for something that you could color in. The technique I want to show you today is wink of water color with reinkers. Okay, so let's move on to the coloring part. So I wanted to feature a stamp set that obviously you could color. So this is why I ended up picking this one. And I'm going to try to get all my pieces in so I can show you what I'm doing. Um, what I did is, uh, this is how we did it at our class in Maine this week. I have a paint tray palette. So, and because I already did this this morning, I'm not going to do it again and waste my re and my Wink of Stella, but I am using four re colors. I put the mint macaron in the middle and I kind of made a mess. I ended up dropping two drops. You really only want to do one drop of re -inker. So that's the mint macaron in the middle. And then I did flirty flamingo. So Saffron and Coastal Cabana. Okay, so if you're watching and you're a demonstrator and you're doing this at a class, what we did is we had the re right next to the color. Um, and that's why I put the mint in the middle because the mint is for the leaves and those other three colors are for the flowers. So then I wouldn't get messed up. I mean, once you start moving the color, you'll know what color it is, obviously. But I put one drop of re -inker, and then I took my Wink of Stella glitter brush. Let me grab it. And I actually opened a new one for this, and I also squeezed some of the Wink into the color. Okay, I probably went a little overzealous, but <coughs> just like one squeeze will do. I'm just gonna take a sip of tea. So since I did this palette this morning, I am gonna use the same palette and you don't want to go in the middle of your color. You want to kind of get the color out, pull the color out to get it a little bit lighter. So I'm just pulling some of the, the mint from the middle. And then I just kind of followed the artist lines and added some color on. If you do too much from the start, you're not going to like how it looks. But if you just kind of go light and gentle, you can add as much or as little as you want. So my first one ended up pretty heavy handed. And you have a couple options here. I, if you like this image here without the extra punches on top, you could totally color that in. That's kind of what I did on the first one. And then I said, nope, I want to take this up a notch. So... Just keep coloring. So now that we've done the leaves, we can move on to the flowers. But now I just put my Wink of Stella glitter brush into my mint. So I need to scribble off in between so I don't get my colors mixed up, okay? So you wanna have scrap paper, post-it note, um, that sort of thing to scribble off the color in between. So, so I don't screw up, I'm gonna do the larger one with my flirty flamingo. Whoops, I'm covering that guy up. 
So I'm just gonna take, you actually really don't need that much. Um, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Oh. So I'm just gonna do a little flirty flamingo and I'm just gonna follow the artist lines. This one's a lot softer than my first one. Um, and I could come back and grab a little more and darken it a little bit, but I'm gonna put this behind a punch of Flirty Flamingo, so I actually like the lighter look. And then I have the two little ones. I'm gonna do one in, oh, this is gonna be like the bomb. Okay, so this is so saffron from my yellow. It looks like gold. So, and then the little one, I'm just gonna fill in a little bit. So, the So Saffron and the Wink make like this pretty gold color. So, that's gonna be great for like Christmas projects. So, I was really happy with how this looked. Let me bring it a little bit closer and I'll show you the final project a little bit closer to the camera too. So hopefully you kind of get that uh, gold look. So pretty. Okay. So I think the So Saffron is obviously my favorite. I'm going to scribble off on my scrap paper with my wink and come do a little bit of the Coastal Cabana. Again, like I said, you don't really need a lot of color. So just another way to use our products. I know a lot of people... I always recommend getting the re-inkers when you buy the an ink pad to protect your investment. So let me know if you want to see some more techniques using re-inkers. Um, okay, so I have those all colored. I can get my Wink of Stella and my palette out of the way. And I should say, if you don't have a paint tray palette like this, you can totally use a clear plastic envelope. You just want to keep your colors you probably only want to have enough room to do like four. You want to keep like a quadrant so you don't mix your colors by accident. So a clear plastic bag, you could drop a little bit of re-inker on that and this will work for that as well. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. So let's talk about what I did. I punched a large flirty flamingo flower. Let me get these kind of where you can see them. Um, a small So Saffron cardstock flower and a small Coastal Cabana flower to layer on top. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take my bone folder and I'm going to flip these over to curl them just a tad, like a little, like one, two flick on each one. And I'm going to do both the cardstock and the colored. This just makes it this project. And the Wink Costella dries pretty quickly. Um, so like this was the first one I did. It's totally dry. So I'll just curl these a tad. Then I can also, like, um, once I get them onto my card, I can kind of fluff them up a little bit. Hey, good morning, Elaine. Thanks for being here. Hey, Jan, good morning. Oh, you like this technique. Cute way to use the technique. Yeah, I, I looked on my shelf for stamps, and uh, like I said, I originally planned to just color the three flowers here in. And then I said, nope, I need to kick it up a notch. And But, I mean, you totally could color them in and call that a day. But, okay. So, to just adhere these flowers together, I am just going to take a little tiny bit of liquid glue in the middle and just offset them. So, just like so. You might need to give it a minute to just set up. But if I do just the adhesive in the middle, I'll be able to kind of fluff them up a little bit. And I think I've used this set with some vellum. I have a couple projects that I've used it with that I really loved, but I don't think I've done something like this before. So 
super simple, super cute. And then I'm just going to adhere to my scalloped. A little bit of liquid glue. I did the middle one first. And then I went to each side. And like I said, since I only have the adhesive in the middle, and it doesn't matter, blue, yellow, you could change the colors. You can make it all one color. I don't know. This also reminds me of beachy colors. I think we walked around in a lot of the shops this week and uh, I took some pictures of like some of the clothes in some of the shops. Some of them had these colors. Okay. And when I get here, I'm going to adhere to my card before I put my embellishment on. For embellishments, I ended up picking the iridescent rhinestones. Uh, just because they have a little bit of sparkle, and I think that they would be great with the Winkle Stella. And I didn't even put any layers. I just thought this was so pretty. Um, but you could totally put something in the background here. Oh, and I didn't put on my little sentiment. So let's get that on here. Just using a little bit of Seal Plus here. And you can kind of pick where you want this. I covered kind of one of the leaves and had this over the edge. Oh no, I have ink on him. <coughs> That's okay, I guess. Okay, and then I just picked the iridescent rhinestones as my embellishment. And these are actually in three sizes. So I picked the smaller ones, got the smallest size, and then I did a medium for the flower in the middle. So just grab these with your take your pick tool. Easier said than done here. I'll come just get this one right here. Just slide it off. Whew, these little guys are not going today. There we go. And these are great because it kind of picks up the color in the Wink of Stella underneath. So this one kind of picks up that flirty flamingo and this one kind of picks up this, the coastal cabana and the so saffron. So I hope you'll try this technique um, and I'll try to get some close-up pictures of the Wink of Stella onto my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com so you can see some close-up photos. And I want to show you the project that inspired the, cart, the technique for today. So while we were in Maine, we made this little book and I don't want to give too much away because I want to do this for a future uh, Sunday morning tea and techniques, but this is the project that we wink Estella the whole front of this um, with some different colors. So hopefully you can kind of see how this kind of sparkles and shines, but it's a little mini smash book uh, made out of envelopes and cards. So it's really cute. And I was thinking to do this during celebration and show you how to make a little book. So that's my project for today. I just want to give a few announcements because Stampin' Up! actually came out with an announcement, <coughs> I think, uh, yesterday for us. And it's actually happening this week, this Tuesday, June 21st. There is going to be a free shipping special just for one day only. So Tuesday, this Tuesday, if you're watching this um, right now, this week, Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. If you spend $75 or more US, you will get free shipping on your order for that one day. And then I just also want to remind you, it's only a little bit over a week left to get the kits at buy one, get one 50% off. That special ends on June 30th, 2022. And you can actually get your kits on Tuesday, buy one, get one 50% off, and get free shipping if you, if you buy $75 or more worth of kits. Um, and then don't forget, I'm going to bring the camera up at my face so I can sign off. So don't forget that I'm also doing my summer special. Uh, so that is running through August 31st. So when you place an order on Tuesday, you will also get a token in the bucket for the summer special. So... That's it for me for this week. Make sure to join my mailing list if you're not on my mailing list for all my specials and announcements of classes. And I will put the link below. And you can check out my projects at my blog, also at christinestamps.blogspot.com. 
Have a great week. I will be back here next week with another creative project. Bye.